Hi everyone, it's Big Face back with another update on Project Elroy for Let's Make Robots.com. Uh, I think in the last video I had uh, made the shoulder joint and uh, was just looking at how how well that was working. I've made a lot of progress since then. Um, robots got a head, amongst other things. So I'll show you what what I've got up to now. There he is, Elroy. As you can see, he's got the shoulder joint with his arm and elbow joint. He's also now got a, a neck joint and a head and a face. He's got his uh, webcam mounted there, an LCD display, so he can have a smile on his face. Um, I've, he's be, now being powered off two 12 volt lead acid batteries. Um, the larger one for the motor power, the s slightly smaller one for the control voltage, the 5 volts. I've also designed and built a new control circuit. Um, this has got an in the motor interface as before and also an interface for the, for the stretch sensors. Um, I've still got the other control board which will be redesigned at some point. It's got a lot of stuff on it that it doesn't really need. That's just an interface for the for the other boards to the PC. Going back to the arm joint, I've got two stretch sensors out on each of the the elbow muscles. Um, the big orange ball on the end of his hand is just for now, so that with the camera it can see where the end of the arm is and. Uh, Got me spiking myself on the end of his arm. Also written software on the PC. Don't know if you make that out in the video. But that's for showing all of the data coming from just the, the elbow joint at the moment. And um, the motor currents. And I can also control the speed of the motors off the off the PC. Um, I'll try and get the arm to move slightly. As you can see, I've got a little graphic here showing the approximate angle of the arm, which changes as I as I control it. As you can see, I'm moving the arm up. Display's moving as well. At the moment, I've got all this working for just the uh, the elbow joint at the moment. Controlling two motors and reading from the two stretch sensors. I need to build another four of the control boards to control all of the other motors. And when I do, I can start trying to get everything talking to each other and write the extra software for the PC to control it all by hand at the moment, but hopefully autonomously when everything's working as it should. One other feature that I've managed to get working is the image from the from the webcam. Um, I'm using OpenCV, just I'm not doing anything other than displaying the image at the moment. But one thing that was quite important is that Elroy, I've moved his head here, so that he's actually looking down at his own arm. I designed that on purpose because I want I want him to be able to coordinate the, his arm movements with, with his vision. Um, as you can see, his head has got enough movement to be able to look down at his own arm. And there's the image that he's seeing. It's my hand there. If I move his arm, you should see the, his hand, as it were, getting closer to his head. Allowing him to recognise when his, when his joints are moving.